Tony, congratulations. It's been the perfect start since coming back and a good all-round team performance tonight. Yeah, it's been nice to get back and get back into it, Manchester City. And we knew it was a big second half of the season. And credit to the girls, while we was away, they've put in the shifts and we're getting the rewards now. So it's been nice to come back in, obviously, for myself to get on the score sheet, but more importantly, for the team to be winning. And the team, as I said, looked confident from the start, didn't they? And um, we really carried the game to Bristol. Yeah, I think we knew when this team formed that it was going to be a long process and we knew we had a strategy that we needed to nail and I think the girls are starting to get used to that now. I think we all know our roles clearly and our football is starting to pay off and I think it's great football that we're playing, it's attractive football, but as I said, more important to get the wins. For you personally, you've got a great record down here. You must look forward to coming here every year. <laughs> yeah, I love coming down here. I love this ground. Um, people always remind me as well when I'm on my way down about about some of the goals I've scored at Bristol. I have a bit of banter with Mark Sampson when we're away about scoring a few times past him, but I hope the record can continue and go for other teams as well. You couldn't have got many better in the first one though. That was a beauty. Yeah, I think I just caught it sweet. Um, in the warm-up, my shooting wasn't wasn't too shabby. That all the balls were going over the wall, so I didn't think it was going to be my day. So when I caught that one, it was nice to get into the game then and then I was confident. Better do that every week, I think. <laughs> in the second half though, it was getting a little frustrated though at one stage. You, know, you at the bar, Izzy at the bar, and Mary made some really good saves. It was just getting a little frustrated the second goal wasn't coming at that time. Yeah, it was, and then you never like that scoreline 1 0. You know, it's always risky, and they get one chance, and you go home with just a point when you deserve all three. So we were trying to push for the second goal, and Mary made some great saves. The crossbar made some great saves as well, and <laughs> thankfully, you know, then the goals went in, and happy for Daphne getting a first goal at the club. You know, she's a great player, a great talent, and I'm sure we'll see more goals from her over the next few few months. And you were involved in the third goal as well, weren't you? It was a lovely move on the edge of the area. Yeah, I think we just need to get the balance right now because I think we're just passing, either passing it into the net or we're taking too many touches. So just getting that balance, but we'll get that right. We've got the rest of the stuff in the other half of the pitch right. So just a bit more time and then we'll be a complete team. And how much you're enjoying that role on the left you're playing in the moment? You seem to be link linking well with Nikita up front and is he coming on from midfield? Yeah, I like her. I think I'm always asked this in interviews, what position I like the best, but I think Nick's getting the best out of me from the left. I always seen it as being a bit more negative because I'm stuck out wide and I want to be in amongst it. But if the girls can get me on the ball and I can be involved, then I'll be happy. And now another busy week coming up. You've got Donny in the Ponty Cup coming up in a week and then a big game in the league next week against Chelsea and they'll be wanting to bounce back on their results tonight. Yeah, it's massive. We've got a massive few weeks of fixtures and you know we've got to go home now to our preparation, right? Make sure we rest and recover and then we know it's going to be a tough one midweek. It always is against Doncaster Bells and... Then with Sunday in sight, it's a, it's a big game and a big few weeks, but we've got a big squad and the, the girls are in great condition and we're ready for what's to come. And how's the fitness personally after Canada and all the games you're having to play now? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, you know, I've rested and recovered. I've done what the club have told me and I'm in good shape. You know, I probably didn't play as many minutes as Steph and Lucy at the World Cup, but you know, they seem in good form too. So, you know, we're the type of people who love football and we want to do well for this club, so we'll put our bodies on the line any time. And presumably things have been fantastic since you came back, the reaction from people, both on and off the pitch, you see the big crowd turn up again tonight because of the star players in the team. It's wonderful for women's football right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice that people are coming to see the Lionesses in, in action, but it's also great credit to Bristol, I think, always as a club. They've always drawn in the crowds year after year and same again tonight, but it's also nice to see people coming and supporting us and you know, getting a good reception from the, from the home fans is always nice. Hannah, well played. I suppose in the end, probably their superior fitness was a big factor, wasn't it? You could say that. I thought we defended well. We just couldn't keep the ball in the final third and punished us, really. It shouldn't be forgotten, really. This is a team that's just sort of gelling together again, isn't it? After uh, so many signings during the first season. Yeah, we've had seven new players and it's been, it's been tough to get to know each other so quickly. Um, but I think, you know, there's only better times to come for us now, so we're just going to look forward. How do you think you're getting on in the, the central defence with Hayley Ladd at the moment? Do you think you're, you're starting to gel well together? Yeah, a lot better now. Um, we're starting to build a bit of a relationship between each other. And I thought today we worked well. It's just the runs from the midfield just were too much for us. And well done to Man City. Although it couldn't really have been a harder start, could it? You had Chelsea and Man City, two teams come back on the crest of the wave from the World Cup. It was always going to be difficult, wasn't it, these two games? Yeah, obviously some of the players are on a massive high, but... Um, you know, we've had a massive crowd here tonight and it's been good to get the, um, you know, from the World Cup just to get so many fans in supporting the girls, which is great to see. 
you've got a chance now on Tuesday night, you've got a Conti Cup match away to Aston Villa. Do you think this is the sort of game you can try and get, get results, get the team's confidence going again? Yeah, definitely. We'll look to get a win there for sure. Um, and hopefully you can build on our confidence from there. So we'll go into Aston Villa fighting, hopefully. And then Sunderland next week in the, in the league. I suppose you've heard the result they had tonight, so it, it, it doesn't get any easier at the moment, does it? Yeah, I've heard 4-0 or something. So against Chelsea, that's, that's quite a result. But, you know, we're going to go every game and give it what we got. And only way is up for us now, really. And how are you finding it since coming back home again? <laughs> yeah, I've enjoyed being home. You know, Bristol, I used to play when I was younger, so I've got a bit of heart still left here. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. So I'm just going to keep on playing my game and hopefully see what we can do. Hope that you'll be hoping, I suppose, your old club Arsenal could do you a favour tomorrow with beating Birmingham. Can you sit now between yourselves and Birmingham to, to see who escapes? Um, I'd like to see us get a win somewhere along the way. Um, definitely, as a team, we're going onwards, so we just build on every performance. We're not going to focus on anyone else, we need to focus on ourselves. And what are you seeing so far? Are you confident the team can do it and can get away? Yeah, I'd say so. If we put our defensive performance together and our attacking performance against Chelsea, I don't see why not. You know, we had a lot of goal shots on goal against Chelsea and some good defensive performances today. We just got to put the two together, really. I suppose having if you get Jade back for the next two games, that could make a big difference for you. Yeah, 100%. You know, she's a she's a great attacking force up there, and she can hold the ball up well. And yeah, we missed her tonight, really.